Hello everyone. Here we are going to start with a new chapter that is operation on sets. Very first of all, what is this chapter about? Now here we are having the name of two animals. Now if I ask you to group them or name it, then you will be just saying that they are milk giving animals. So if we classify it classify or group it, that milk giving animals, then it will be okay. But if I add two more animals, that is dog and cat. Now you can't say they are milk giving animals, but you can say they are domestic animals. Now these four domestic animals have been added. But if I add lion and tiger, and now we can say only as animals. Now they are only animals. Now if I add two more things, here I have added mango tree and neem tree. Now if I go into name this all, then you will be just saying they are living things. Now what we have seen over here, जब हमारे पास सिर्फ काऊ बफेलो था, हमने इसको milk giving animals का, then we have added dog and cat. In that case, it became a domestic animals, and all the four were satisfying the criteria of domestic animals. और जब हमने lion और tiger को add किया, in that case, they were just named with the animals. ये सिर्फ animals में आ गए. But when we have added mango tree and neem tree, in that case, they are considered only in a living thing. So in this chapter, we are going to study about sets in which we define a particular group of elements in a single definition. हमारे पास group of elements हैं और हमें उसको एक particular definition देना है. And giving the particular definition to all of the elements is known as the sets. So set is defining the group of elements in a single definition. Now we are going to study the various terms which are going to be used in this chapter sets. Now here the first one is union of sets. Now we have also taken the two sets A and B for illustration. In set A we are having the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and in set D we are having even elements that is 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Now if I find the union of sets that is A union B. In case of the union you make U over here and this will be the combination of both of the set. Dono set ki sare elements likhe jayenge but Repeat koi nahi hoga. So we will be writing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we are going to take the 6, 8 and 10. Here I have written all the elements which are present in set A and B without repeating any of it. Then the next one is intersection of sets. In intersection of sets, we form a symbol as A and ulta u rehta isme and that is B. And in this case, we just write the common in both of it. So in both of it, we get a common of 2 and 4. So 2 or 4 is ka intersection. Ho gaya. Now we have the difference of two sets. Difference of two sets may do parts may hum se sakte se A minus B. In A minus B means A ke wo element jo dono mein common hai, usko bas consider nahi karenge. Hum B ke kisi element se koi matlab nahi hai. But A may be un elements ko nahi lenge jo B mein already present hai. So here, we will not be taking 2 and 4 as they are present in B also. So A minus B will be 1, 3 and 5. Or similarly, if we B minus A, nikalte, in that case, we will A ke common elements and the rest of the elements which are B mein present. Hai. So this will be 6, 8 and 10. Now the next one we are having complement of set. Complement of set is a universal set. Bhi hona so let this one be universal set. And here we have got this one as the universal set in which we are having the numbers from 1 to 10. Now, if I find the A complement, the complement of A, in that case, we will be getting A, ye symbol hota hai complement ka, upar ek dash sa laga dete hai. Then we are going to write all the terms which are not present in A, but is present in universal set. So, we are having the numbers from 1 to 5. So, we are going to write this one as 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. This is the complement of A. Or if we B ke complement ko nikalte, in that case we are going to write all the terms which are not present in B. That is 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Next we have overlapping sets. Overlapping sets are the sets in which the two sets have something as common. So the two sets with at least one element common. And then next we have disjoint sets. In this set, Nothing is common in the two sets. So disjoint sets are the two sets with nothing as common. And now we have the cardinal number. In cardinal number, we tell the number of elements in particular set. Suppose if I talk about this universal set, this will be written as n in bracket. We're going to write the universal symbol 
and this will be equals to we have got 1 to 10 so we are having 10 element in case of set a we are having 5 elements as 1 to 5 and in set b also we are having 5 elements so in cardinal number we just tell the number of elements in the particular set now let's begin with exercise 6.1 now let's move to question number one of this exercise. Here we are having the set A that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In B we are having 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. In the C we are having 0, 5, 10 and 20. And very first of all we have to find A union B. A union B means in the row combine karna hai, But we are not going to repeat anyone. So this is equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 as the all are present and over here. Ab yaha ke dekhte hain look 9 and 11. So it is A union B. And then we have to find A union C. So A union C we have to write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 from here. Then we are having 10 and 20. Now after getting A union C, we have to find B union C that is the combination of these two and this will be 0 from here then 3, 5, 7, 9, 10, 11 and 20. Now in intersection B, we are going to write the common thing. So A or B may common care 3 and 5, 3, 5 and 7. So we got 3, 5 and 7 at the intersection of A and B. Then we are moving for the A intersection C. A intersection C in this one we are having common as 0 dono mein hai aur 5 bhi dono mein. So we got 0 and 5 as the intersection of A and C. Then we are having B intersection C. In B intersection C we see that we are having only 5. So we can write 5 over here. Aur agar hum iska cardinal number bhi nikale, So this will be N A union b so a union b 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 so here we are having 11 then if we write the a union c cardinal number so it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 again yahan bhi hamare paas 11 aa gaya aur hum iska nikalte hain to this will be n b union c that is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have got 8 over here. Then N A intersection B ka agar cardinal number nikal rahe hai, we are having 3. Or agar hum iska nikal rahe hai, A intersection C we are having 2. Or in A B intersection C we are having only 1 as answer. Now let's move to question number two first part here in first part we have been given a with this elements 0 1 4 and 7 and a universal set with x and that x the element of whole number where x is less than equals to 10. So if we take this set ke form mein leke aate hai, so this will be whole number from 0 to 10. So we are having 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 क्योंकि हमें होल नंबर 0 स्टार्ट होता है और हमें इस 10 को इंक्लूड करते हुए इसका सेट पूरा करना है नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड द कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ ए तो इसका कॉम्प्लीमेंट अगर हम निकालें सो ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट विल बी इक्वल्स टू ऑल द नंबर्स एक्सेप्ट टू दिस 4 सो वी आर हैविंग 0 एंड 1 सो वी कैन राइट 2 3 4 इज ऑलरेडी देयर सो 5 6 7 यहां पर है सो वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू टेक द 7 एंड विल बी हैविंग 8 9 10 so this is the A complement for this question. Now let's move to the second part. Here we are having A as a consonants and the universal set is alphabets of English. So A complement will be equals to the vowels. Now in the third part we are having A with a set of boys of this class and the universal set is students of the class. So the A complement will be girls of the class. Now in the fourth part we are having A, the letters of Kalka. So this can be written as K, A, L and K is already used and A is already used. So we are having only K, A, L from here 
and in the universal set we are having k o l k is used so a and t and the a complement will be equals to the letters except to k a and l so it is o and t now we move to the fifth part here we are having a as a odd natural number and universal set is whole number so a complement will be even whole number now let's move to the third question here we are having a such that x is the element of natural number where x is greater than 3 but less than 7 so this can be written as a equals to natural number begins from 1 only so we are going to take 4 5 and 6 and then b is the element of whole number so this b will be starting from 0 and it is less than equals to 4 so it is going to include 4 so 2 3 and 4 now we have to find a union v means the combination of these two so this will be 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 then a intersection b in intersection b we are going to write the common thing so common we are having only 4 so 4 is common in both then we have to find a minus b means the elements which are present in a but is not present in so a minus b that is we are going to write all the element of a except to 4 which is common in both of it so this will be 5 and 6 and now we are having b minus a in case of the b minus a we are going to write all the elements of b except to 4 as 4 is common in both so this will be 0 1 2 3 as answer now let's move to question number 4 here we are having the p as x and that x is the element of whole number where x is less than 6. So this will be p equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And then we are having q which is x and that x is the element of natural number where x is greater than equals to 4 but less than 9. So q will be equals to natural number from 4. So 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now we have to find the union of P and Q. So in case of the union, we are going to write all of the numbers without repeating any one of it. So 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Then intersection. So we are going to write the common of both. So we are having 4 and 5 common in both. So we will be having 4 and 5. Then we are having P minus Q. So we are going to write all the elements of P except to 4 and 5 as they are common in both. So 0, 1, 2 and 3. And then in case of the Q minus P, we are going to write 6, 7, 8. So here we get 6, 7, 8 as the answer for this part. It is also asked that P union Q is proper superset of P intersection Q. So yes, it is. So yes, P union Q is proper superset of P intersection Q because the elements in both of them are not equal and the elements of P intersection Q is present in P union Q. That's all for this video. Thank you.